Hi, and welcome to Ballet Stretch, which is going to completely relax and release tension in your whole body. We'll start with dynamic ballet stretches in the beginning and then move to the floor for some deep stretching. This is a part of the Ballet Body Flow series, which you can sign up for free with the link below. Download your guide and join our amazing community. Okay, let's get started. Let's begin in first position, heels together, toes are slightly apart. You wanna squeeze your booty, pull the abs in, draw the tailbone down. And we're gonna start by just warming up the legs just a little bit, but this whole class, we're gonna feel long and stretched out. It's gonna feel really, really good. So we're just gonna open and close the legs here. I want you to find this center line, right? Head over shoulders, over hips, over knees, over heels, the whole long line. Good, so just reaching and lifting. Feeling strong and beautiful in your body. And also open, you know, stretching is really about opening and releasing restrictions. And so I really believe in the mind-body connection and when you open up your body, you're able to open up your mind as well. Good, so let's take a nice stretch over to the side and stand, stretch and up. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale. Find a nice rhythm with your breath as you move with your body. Two more just like that here. And reach and up, nice. Now we're just gonna roll all the way down to touch the toes and then roll all the way back up. Really squeeze the glutes on the way up. Good, and then roll down, chin to chest. Slowly roll down one vertebrae at a time. Reach towards the floor and then roll up. As you roll up, squeeze those legs together. Stack one vertebrae up at a time. Good, and again, chin to chest. Roll all the way down. This time we're gonna leave the hands down on the ground and you're gonna take a nice big plie, keeping the hands down, keeping the head down, and then straighten the legs. Good, bend and straighten. So if you notice, we're stretching in an external rotation. So it might feel different for you. All right, we're gonna be opening up our external hip rotators, our inner thighs, a different part of our hamstring, right? We've got all all the different strings of our hamstring, right? So we're stretching more of the outside edge of the hamstrings. Good, and then slowly roll yourself all the way up to the top, beautiful. Now let's come onto our bar and we're gonna take a nice side stretch over here, just like this, and then come on up, go to the other way, good. Nice, so lean towards the bar and then stretch away from the bar. So since the bar is there, you can actually really press down into it a little bit more. Now we're gonna add a leg. So we're gonna reach over and up. Beautiful, add the leg, reach and up. I want you to stretch as long as you possibly can. Feel the line from your toe to your fingertips and up. Good, two more, two, and up, and one more time. Reach, feel the sides of the waist working as well, and up, nice. Now we're gonna take a nice forward fold, but this time we're gonna go to a diagonal. So you're gonna reach over towards the diagonal, and we're gonna swoop all the way down and around to the side. Good, and then come on up. Let's do that again. So reach towards the diagonal, Fall forward over the toe, circle towards the bar, and up. Nice. Two more times like that. Feels so good, right? You're just moving nice and slow, but you're finding balance at the same time. So you're still really working the muscles, strengthening your body as you do this. Reach. And all the way around. Feels really nice, right? Okay, now we're gonna take a nice side bend. This time we're gonna go up and around to the back. Good. So use that bar for balance. We're doing a nice spinal circle. So reach up, lift the chest up, reach around. 
Nice. I'm just going to turn here just so you can see. So again, to the side, to the back, to the side, and up one more time. Side, back, side, and up. Nice. Okay, now we're going to put that all together. So we're going to reach forward to that diagonal. You're going to lower all the way down. Go to the side. Now we're going to add the back up and around. Lift up through the belly button all the way around. Good. Now we're going to reverse that. Circle around and up. Lift up tall through the sternum, through the chest. Good. This is called the port de bras in ballet. Really using and stretching through the whole body. How'd that feel? Pretty good, right? Okay, let's go to the other side. Okay, so we're gonna side and reach. Good, really uh, stretch through the sides of the waist. I think we don't ever stretch this enough because we can feel kind of linear in our positions, right? So you might feel something different here going on, but I just want you to feel graceful and beautiful in your body right now. Good. Now we're gonna reach over to the side and come up. Reach. Beautiful. Now we'll do exactly what we did on the other side. We're gonna reach over at the diagonal, extend as far as you can, reach through the fingertips, reach through the crown of the head, all the way over to the side, and up. Three more just like that. Reach. Now we're gonna go to the back. So we're gonna do that same circle around. I want you to imagine the fingers drawing a circle around you as you lift up and look towards the sky and come around. Now make sure you're not crunching in the back and you're not pushing the hips forward, right? It's like you're lifting up and above that, okay? So it does take a lot of work to stretch, right? So this one in particular, you've really gotta work to lengthen yourself which really helps to create a strong, supple spine, right? We can't have strength without uh, stability, uh, um, flexibility, and we need strength in our flexibility as well. Okay, so now we're gonna put it all together. Here we go. Reverse that all the way around. Draw a big circle. Lift up through the chest. And beautiful. Okay, how'd that feel? Really good, right? Okay, let's take a nice stretch right here. So legs are wide and we're gonna just take little forward folds over the legs. And then I want you to roll on up. So really articulating through the spine, one vertebrae at a time. And up. One more time, all the way down. And up. Nice job. Let's go ahead and switch sides. So rolling through the spine, articulating one vertebrae at a time, pulling the belly button in towards your spine, 
and then lengthening, reaching your chest forward as you do this. Really getting deep into the legs. Good, but also working the legs. So I'm still kind of squeezing my inner thighs, right? To create that stability within the new space that we're creating. Exhale. And inhale. Last one. And roll on up. Beautiful. All right. Now, a big part of ballet is the flexibility in our feet, right? So we're going to work on some flexibility here. We're going to press over onto the top of our feet, and we're going to press all the way down and stand it up. Now, see how far you can go with that heel, right? So I'm pushing the heel forward. I'm using my body to take it further and then stretch it up right there. I know that's a lot on the toes, the arch. Good. And lift, lower, and lift. If you've never stretched out your feet before like this, it might be a little painful, but just know that it'll open up the more you do it and get less painful every time. <laughs> Two and one. I know it's pretty painful. So push it forward. Good. Just hold for three, for two, and one. Good, let's go to the other side. Whew, I love this feeling. I do this stretch like all the time. If I'm like at my desk, I have a standing desk. I'm like stretching out my feet, my arches. Feels really good, you know? So our feet get stuck in our shoes and all that stuff. And this one feels really, really good. And I actually get a lot of requests of how to point your toe. So this is a really good stretch for that. Good. Three. And two. And one. Hold it here. Really push through the heel. Really push forward. Nice. You can get a little bit deeper. And come on up. Nice job. All right. So now we got to stretch out our ankles. So we're going to come onto our toes here. And we're just going to push the feet forward and back. Forward and back, forward and back, good. This is really good for ankle mobility, stability, right? A lot of times we get, we're not able to do certain poses, whether that's in yoga or you're just uncomfortable when you're walking. And lots of times it's from our ankles, right? So our ankles can get really stiff. So these are really, really good for that. So eight, seven, good job. Two and one. Good job. Okay, shake out those feet. Shake it out. And then now we're going to come down to the ground. Okay, so let's come to the back of our mat here. And we're just going to take our chin all the way down. Roll forward. Take a nice little forward fold here. So feet are in parallel now. Release the head. Just shake it out. And then bend the right knee. Let's place the right hand down towards the floor. Lift up. And switch. And look up. And switch. Good, again, reach up. And switch. And reach. And switch, good. And let's go ahead and walk ourselves all the way out into a downward facing dog. And we're gonna lower and lift the heels. So, but first in our downward facing dog, make sure that you're pressing through the finger pads of all your fingers, externally rotating through the shoulders, lengthening out to the sides of the waist. And then we're gonna lift up high onto the toes and then lower the heels down. Again, to get into the legs, to open up the hamstrings, open up the calves, the ankles. Good, eight more like this, eight. Two and one. Good job. Lower the heels down as much as you can. Lift the left leg up. Good. Bend the knee. Open up the hip. Nice stretch here. And then come back into three-legged dog. Just hold it here for a few moments. Try to square off the hips. 
Lengthen out through the body as much as possible. Good, point the toes and then place the foot down. Good, let's switch to the other side. Lift the right leg up and then bend the knee, open up the hip. Nice, allow yourself to just kind of open up and then square it all back off again to the three-legged dog. Hold it there, try to point the toes, really reach through the fingers, reach through the toes, and then bring it down. Beautiful. Lift the left leg up again, inhale. Exhale, we're gonna step it all the way through in between the hands and lower the back knee down. Good job. All right, I'm just gonna move this a little bit. Good, so we're just holding here in our low lunge, a really good stretch for the fronts of the hips, opening everything up. And just take a nice big deep breath in here. And then we're gonna press it back into our half split. Hold it here. Let's add little foot circles around. Stretching out the foot again. Good, now we're gonna reach forward all the way up, arms up overhead, and then rock it back into your half splits. Good, five times just like that. And five. Good, and then come back to the low lunge and we're gonna place the hands on the inside here. Now you can stay here or if you'd like to add on a little bit, you can bend the back knee, circle around and grab for that foot. It's a really good one for the hips. Whew, it's a good one for the thighs, the hip flexors. So we'll hold here for about 30 seconds. Remembering to breathe. It's a big part of stretching because the breath will send a signal to the body that it can let go, it can relax. Good, and then let that one go. And then rock back. We're gonna heel toe the foot all the way forward so that we come into a pigeon pose. Now you might need to bring the foot in a little bit, that's okay. So you can hold it there. Or if you are more flexible, you can push the foot out, but only do that if you are flexible. And then we're gonna just lower all the way down for a nice deep stretch here. Because in ballet, we do a lot of external rotation, so this is really good to open up those hips right here. So holding here for about another 30 seconds and just breathe through the stretch. And then come on up. Right from here, we're gonna take this foot, we're gonna wrap it all the way around so that now we're in a nice seated position. So this foot is flat on the ground and I'm sitting on both hip bones. Lift the left arm up and then twist over for a nice spinal twist. That feels really, really good. So just try to lift up taller through the spine as you stretch here. Try not to sink, right? You wanna lift up through the crown of the head.
Good, and then let that go. And let's go ahead and move on to the other side. So we're gonna come back into our downward facing dog. Just pedal out those feet here. Lift the right leg up, and then let's step it forward into our low lunge. holding, take a nice big deep breath in. And then exhale, let's go ahead and shift it back into our half splits pose. Right here, do those nice circles with the leg and the ankle. Really stretching the outside of the feet, underneath the feet. And now we're gonna rock forward arms up overhead. Use those legs to get yourself back into that half splits pose. All right, so hold on to that core. You're going to use the inner thighs. And here we go. Five times. Five. And back. And four. Nice, let's come all the way forward now. And then place the left hand down, reach around for that foot if it's available to you. If not, then I would just hold this stretch here. Just try to sink down into this one here. And then you can work on bringing the foot into the hand. Remember your breath. Usually our breath is the first thing that goes and that won't allow you to stretch. So you must breathe to allow the body to relax, to release, to let go. And let that go. Good, and then we're gonna walk the foot all the way in for our pigeon pose. Again, take the foot wherever you need to on this one. And then let's go ahead and settle in here. <sighs> nice relaxing stretches. I know sometimes we don't take the time to stretch, so I'm really proud of you that you're here taking the time to stretch. because It's really gonna help you feel and move so much better in everything that you do. Just frees up your whole body. And with each exhale, see if you can let go in one more place. up nice and gently moving slowly and let's take that foot up and over into our seated cross and if this is too tight for you you can extend the bottom leg and just create a little bit more space for yourself but lift on up place the elbow onto the knee and take the twist I'm gonna take my foot back in but that option is available to you Nice, and then twist up. I just like to feel really regal in this, right? Imagining every vertebrae separating and stretching and getting longer. Use your breath as a way to cleanse and bring energy to all those tight little places in your body. And release, beautiful. All right, take the legs out in front of you. 
take a nice little shake it out. All right, lift on up, inhale in, exhale, and take yourself forward into a nice forward fold, wherever it is for you. And just remember your breath is really gonna take you to that next level of your stretching and flexibility. So use it, so imagine the breath coming into the body, almost washing away all the tight places, and exhale, release any tension that you might have in your body. And again, inhale in, feeling nice and easy. Washing away, opening up the tight places, and then exhale, release the tension, knowing that with each breath, you're getting more and more flexible, and your body's opening up more and more. And just keep going with that breathing. And then slowly roll on up. Let's roll back onto our backs. And then we're gonna take the leg up. You can keep the foot flat on the ground, the opposite one. And we're just gonna take the leg up, see where you can go. So maybe you need to grab your calf, maybe you can work your way up to your ankle, and then eventually you can work your way up to your foot. But we're gonna take a nice little bend wherever you are and straighten three times, three, and two, and one, and then just hold it here. Try to relax and soften through the body. So at first, yes, the muscles are gonna kind of spasm or hold on, right? And so use the breath to cleanse, to release, to signal to your body that it's time to let go okay to release sometimes we hold on to unnecessary tension for control so it's a good time to also just be in observance of your thoughts anytime we slow down it's a chance for us to just go deeper within and if you want to extend the bottom leg for a little bit more opening go ahead Good, and then bend that knee. And let's take it all the way over to the side. Extend the bottom leg if you haven't yet, and just take a nice, easy twist here. This one feels so good. Just allow yourself to fully sink and surrender into gravity. Gravity is gonna do all the work for you here. And breathe deeply into those back rib muscles. And let's switch sides. So place both feet into the ground, pull the knee in towards your chest, and then let's extend the leg long for three, and for two, and for one, and then hold it here. Take a nice big deep breath. And then extend the bottom leg. And then bend that knee and take a nice easy twist. Remember to just let gravity do its thing and just let go. And then 
Just reach the arms and legs up overhead and out in front of you. Feel like you're waking up for the second time today. Roll on up nice and slow. <sighs> just bring your hands together and just give a little bow to your body. Just a symbol of appreciation and gratitude. Beautiful work. I hope you just feel so free and beautiful in your body right now. Nice job. Great job in showing up for yourself today. And if you enjoyed today's class, then subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, because it really helps me out so that I can keep creating amazing workouts and challenges just like this for you. And if you're ready to take your fitness to the next level and want to be a part of an amazing community that keeps you accountable and motivated, then download my Stretchy Fit app because it has my absolute best bar and yoga programs. It's available in any app store. So check it out for free and I will see you in the next video. Bye.